Okay, so now it's on 1932. Okay, so are you back at the train station? Yeah. Uh, it's midnight for me. Um, yes, me too. Uh, okay, so closed track. Um, the shop is closed. Uh, okay, so there's the spooky house on the hill again, and then there's a... Trumpet house? Trump trumpet house. I, I guess that's a French horn, I don't know. Uh, okay, so I have three... Oh, okay. Three circles where I can move the four uh, like arms, I guess. Do you have that? Uh, well? Are you in the house or are you in the... Uh... Trumpet. Okay. I have a... I guess this is a post office box. I don't know, it's like a red... It's like a red mailbox. Okay. It says post... Brevkas. Uh, so I have, it's like three boxes, I guess, and they have the numbers 44, 46, and 48. And then there are circles at the top with like four arms, like what you get like in a compass, like the compass points, but I can move okay. them. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> Oh. Trying to see if I can... Okay, there's more, there's loads more. There's, if I scroll up, there's just like a, a fuck ton more with different numbers on. 44, 46, 48. And I obviously need to open... Right, let me get back to the spooky house, because I feel like we're missing some... Yeah, because I can't do anything. Okay, so I'm in a different room this time. Um... I'm... I have a plant. Ooh, and a note. My note says, I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. Amelie. Okay. I am in a room of a fireplace. There's a antler, uh, sorry, like a deer skull mounted above the fire. And I can't seem to interact with anything. Oh. I have... Oh, basement. Um, basement. That's not what you want. Can I go... Oof. Okay, I'm in the basement. Uh, I have a bunch of bells. Oh. And... Kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, dining. I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after... And then there's nothing else after that. Uh, I can, like, ding all the bells. Good for you. I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I've oh, maybe it's going to tell you, like, the order. So I'll write down study. And then on the floor there was a barrel of some kind of liquid, and I removed the, um... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Ah, okay. Okay. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. So I'm assuming that's dining hall. Okay, so it's study, dining hall. I don't really know what we do with this information, but... Uh, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, there we go. Um, it... Ew, okay. Okay, so the whole thing is, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did the two kittens you found in the pantry. In oh wait, hold on, let me do... I'm guessing pantry is kitchen? Yep. Okay, alright. Um, in five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. Alright. That's the whole thing. Yeah. And it's kind of now presented in a way that seems final. I think I'm gonna have to do all six of them. What do you have to do? Um, it's like each room has a bell that's hanging above it. And I think I have to 
like click them in some sort of order. But if you but right just... now, I only have three out of six rooms of, that I've clicked, and nothing's happened. Oh. I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. Oh, oh, okay, I see. It's one, one year, two kittens. In then five, in five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. Okay. Okay, so it's one study, two kitchen, five dining hall. Yes, okay, my door opened. Sweet. I can scroll down now, and as I'm scrolling down, it's like just a rope hanging from the ceiling. Oof. So I'm like scrolling down and down and down, but it's attached to a barrel, not a body. And now I can scroll down into um, a storage type room. Everything's dusty. There's like some paint cans on a shelf, some pots on a shelf, some jars on a shelf, and then this hanging barrel. I think if I, there's something, if I click this barrel a lot, it's like breaking open. Okay. Um, a clock came out. Okay. Um, it's like the same pocket watch from earlier that's broken. Uh, hold on, it's switching to a bunch of different times. I've trapped a lizard in a cage in my basement, and I feel really bad about it. You just did this right now? Uh, I had to do that in order to get the, um, the message with the one study, two pantry uh, thing. It was part of my process, but I feel guilty. I have this pocket watch that's like, it's like clicking itself. Okay. And it clicks, um, 12, 12, 15, 12, 12, 12, 12, 15, 12, 30. Uh, okay. So when I was reading reviews for this game, people, a couple of people said that they like, they overthought the, the puzzles were like simpler than they thought it was going to be, so I yeah. think we need to try and be not smart asses about it. <laughs> Weird. Okay, it's now one. Uh, I think it's. Still... I think if you if you do like a full rotate through the different places you can go to. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Here. And if we keep scrolling across until the time when the clock shop, uh, yeah, the clock shop opens. Then that might give oh, yeah. us more. So it's nine o'clock sure. in the morning, isn't it? Okay, yeah, mine's open. Wow, that was really smart. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, so what the hell are you seeing? Um, I have a desk that has a plant, a lantern, a note, and a key and a box. Okay, I have okay. a desk that has two books, oh. a white raven. <sighs> Uh, a note and then some tools. The note says, do not remove these tools. I will work when the clock shop is closed. Emily. Um, I picked up my letter, but it was like a, um, it's like a letter that said Amelie and it had, or, how do you say her name? And it had a key in it. And then I had another key that had a tag on it that said clock shop. And both of those things I picked up. And then I have a box that says Lark. But I can't interact with anything. Okay, so if we now move the time to when the shop is closed, you have the key to get in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay so there's like a, a fancy looking letter with like a seal and everything that's uh, framed and it's on the wall. And it says, "Dear Amelie, I am pleased to inform you that you have been chosen as my new apprentice. Your experiments with time extractions are truly groundbreaking." <sighs> I agree that our short lifespan is deeply unfair, especially for people like us who keep improving the world, pushing it forward. I am looking forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. You will sincerely, Clarissa Shah, Master Watchmaker. So she was heading to Switzerland to do some experiments with time. Um, okay, so what time does the shop close? Um, it's open between 3 and 9, so like if you back to 2, it'll be I'm currently at nine, so um, let me go back. So just go forward. Yeah. Oh, this is, there's a lot of, okay. Oops. Oh, Can I get in? Oh, I can't even get back in. Just you. 
Oh, well. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Hold on. Um, maybe that's what this mailbox is for. Because I have a letter with a key in it. Oh, wait, but it doesn't go to you. Uh, no, because we're not connected. That would have been such a good idea. <laughs> if I could, like, mail you a letter. Yeah, that would have been good. But I feel like this goes in here anyway. Well, what I mailed the letter. What hours? Uh, three till nine. Oh. I have some numbers for your boxes now. Okay. What do you got? Um, this is for post office box number 28. Okay. Tell me when you're ready and I'll tell you the directions. Uh... Two seconds. Okay, so 28. Okay. Um, okay, on number 28, um, it's northwest. Mm-hmm. And then west. Yep. Southwest. Yep. And east. Okay, that opens. Okay, so I have a letter uh, addressed to Amelie from Denmark. Oh, it's probably the key. Can you and open it? It's the key. Oh my uh, gosh. That was super... I'm like really impressed with this game's mechanics. <laughs> like, that's the letter that I had I mailed to you. Okay, so you're Lark and I'm Emily. Is that right? I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm. I think I'm Emily. I think I'm like experimenting on animals or something. You're like the murderer. Oh god, <laughs> not like this. <laughs> you did trap that lizard. <laughs> Rip. Shit. Here's your key to the shop, Emily. When you're done working, could you help me look for my raven? Oh uh, no, I don't trust myself with the raven because I feel like I'm a bit of an asshole. Oh yeah, probably. Okay, so Thanks. I need to know. Um, Okay, so I'm now in the shop at night. Okay, so there's the the stopwatch, but it's open, and I can see like all of the mechanics of it. Uh, okay, I have a book called Horology, which is like clocks, and it like tells you all this info about the inside of clocks. Okay, um, so does it have like a diagram or anything on what Um, is... I have a diagram that kind of looks like a seashell, and it's, I think, supposed to be like four gemstones connected to like a middle yeah, part. Yeah, uh, um, what order are the colours in? Because I, I think I have to move them so that they're in the correct order. Hold on, let me read it, because it's in black and white. I have like this white raven that's like being a bit of an asshole, nudging this thingy whilst I'm trying to work on it. He's like hitting yeah. the, the, the watch with its beak. And I like him, but I just wish he'd stop messing with my work. <laughs> well, you're probably gonna kill him later, so no! be <laughs> The tiger's eye should be to the left of the lens. Um, tiger's eye. I think that's the far left. Tiger's eye is the one that looks like Jupiter. Okay. It's like brown lines. Yep, okay, so I'm gonna have to do some shuffly aroundy here. Um, okay, so that should be oh, the I left. See. Hold on, let me read this whole thing. Okay. This raven's pissing me off. Is he, like, fucking up your work? No, he's just, like, knocking it with his beak, like he's trying to, like, draw my attention to it, but it's like, I know, buddy. I think he's trying to be helpful, so I'm not gonna be too angry. Uh, I'll read you this to kind of tell you what I'm doing. So it's basically like trying to tell me where to put them. It said the tiger's eye should be to the far left of the quartz. Mm -hmm. Malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Okay, here's the order I have. Um, I have tiger's eye, like starting from left to right. I have tiger's eye, malachite, Quartz ruby. I think I destroyed that and nothing happened. Yeah, I, that's what is the first thing I tried. Um, there's also. Well, you have to do more things, so, like, that's not the only thing you have yeah, to do. Yeah, because I've also got um, a dial that I can spin around. Yeah, then... so first put the. Just put them in that order, Tiger's Eye. Yeah, that's right. what I've got them in, yep. Alright, so next. Uh, point. You have a pointer. Yep. Point it towards the malachite. 
Uh, okay. Okay, and then it says, bind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. Top right gear clockwise twice. And then you have. Oh, hell, yeah, it's done it, it's done it, it's done it. And then uh, set the clock to 12. Yep, that's on it. This should initiate the process. The, uh, the bird just disappeared into the clock. And it's now doing the, um, thing where it... spins and sets the time. Like what yours was doing. So, I think what mine says is different from what yours says. The, yeah. the spinny clock. Um, but I don't know what to do with this information. Oh, what time does yours say? Okay, so it goes 12.15 three times, 12.30, 12.15, 12.30 twice, then 12.15. Yeah. Okay, so what, what, what's the order of yours then, please? Uh, mine is 12 o'clock, 12.15, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12.15, 12 12.30. 12 Okay. Uh, don't know what to do with this. But I don't think there's anything more I can do in the clock shop. Uh, uh, let me go look and see. The only thing I can interact with that I haven't done so far is the, um, the train thing. Um, but I don't really know... Oh, hang on. Let me, let me try. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've done that. Did did that work for you as well? Did anything happen to you? Oh, it didn't work, it's not connected. Fuck's sake. What did you do? Uh, okay, so start on with yours. Um, if you go to the train thing... Oh, is this, like, directions? Yeah, so 12 is up, 12.15 yeah. is... Uh, right, and then 12.30 is down. Okay, do yours, so it's do, like, mine, first. do mine and then yours, or yours first? Uh, yours first. Okay, hold on, let me, uh... Choo -choo. Up, over one, up three. Okay, yeah, my train's sparkling. Choo -choo. Okay, so my chapter three says, It was easier than I thought to extract time from animals. Now I had to learn how to do the same with people. Chapter 3. I knew Lark wouldn't want to harm the people who went into the clock, so I decided to give them a way out. Wait, am I Lark or you? I thought I was Amelie. I thought so too. Maybe we're neither. Maybe we're just reading their story. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because mine does say it was easier than I thought to extract time from animals, so I am the douchebag. Yeah, but mine still says I knew Lark, so I think it's like of us are uh, okay we were both douchebag we were both douchebag all along <laughs> maybe the real douchebag was the friends we made along the way 